Up front, Bennett shoots, scores! Sarah Bennett! Down low, up front, Bennett shoots, scores! Sarah Bennett double dip, and the Barracudas have a 2 1 lead. Bennett shoots, they made rebound, they score! Bryn Pryor buries the loose puck. Bennett to the net, scores! Bounces off a body of Kate Bennett, she scores! Cut to the net, Manis scores! Kate Manis tries to feather that through, and she just missed. And Claire Murdoch scores off the back wall! Here's Barkakis, shoots, scores! Ellie Barkakis, they rebound oh. loose, scores! Kate Manis buries the rebound! Zara in front of the net, shoots, scores! And the Burlington Barracudas are the bronze medalists at the 2023 OWHA Provincials. In comes Christina Walker. Shooter, Walker, scores! Soon <laughs> walks the blue line, throws it on, rebound, they score! Fire, Murdoch, Menes, scores! Burlington Barracuda are the bronze medalists at the 2023 OWHA Provincials. Oh, at forward, number eight, Sarah Manis. At forward, number eight, Sarah. At forward, number nine, Claire Murdoch. At forward, number 44, Bryn Pryor. On defense, number 20, Kate Manis. On defense, number 48, Mackenzie Allen. And in goal, wearing number one, Sadie Davidson. And the rest of your Burlington Barracudas. And in goal. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Scotiabank Pond back here after we spent last weekend with the U22 Championship Weekend here at Scotiabank Pond. But this is game two of the Provincials for your Burlington Barracudas as they take on the Kingston Ice Wolves. And Jaden, this is another team that Burlington's going to want to rack up some goals against. Well, absolutely, Jared. They put up a big seven goal win in their game in Kingston this season. And they look to replicate that. As we mentioned a couple of times last night, goal differential is going to be crucial in this tournament. And Burlington trying to capture the highest seed for the medal rounds going into tomorrow. And the Etobicoke Dolphins, who will be a fierce competitor for that spot, put up four against Waterloo just before this game. And that's the standard for Burlington now. We've already got a shot on net from Kate Manis, and it looks like a power play again right away for this top line. Manis across to Mackenzie Allen. Tried to float that on net, but it bounced just wide. Claire Murdoch 
In the near corner now, left it for Brent Pryor, tried to throw it in front, Murdoch's got it! And it just went off a body, but Pryor knocked it down, one timer into the glove of number 35, Abby Parkinson. Once again, great puck movement in the offensive zone from the Barracudas, that top line has so much chemistry, and when Kate Manis and Mackenzie Allen are on the point, they're able to support that offensive line so well, and it's Kate Manis who gets that shot through on the one-timer from the point. It looked like it took a tip along the way, but ends up in the glove. Kingston trying to break out. That gets off the skate of Mercedes Chaffee, and Flores had it just ninth away from her. But Kingston's back in their own zone, reaching for that puck. Quinn McFarland, and she's badgered off it by TJ Flores, right in front back. Uh, Markakis with a bounce, a huge save. Right away by Parkinson as Markakis tried to drag that to the far side, but the leg of, McF of uh, Parkinson got in the way. Ellie Markakis feels a little snake bit early in this tournament. You remember the chance she had last night where she scored, but it was called off because the net was knocked away, and there she... Pekenhagen with a nice drive to the net after she got hooked on her way there, and so another save made by Parkinson early. Kingston tries to regroup in their own end. They get it out to center. Avery Peters pounced on it there, and now it's Avery Holmes. Goes round back of the net. Looks like she's going to send it back to the line. Tried to get it there to uh, Kate Manis, but it's knocked away from Peters all the way down the ice and on net for Sadie Davidson to play as she gets the start between the pipes for the Burlington Barracudas after a fairly solid night last night for Lauren Mooney. Well, yeah, Mooney with a... Good performance, and Davidson with a very solid showing at last weekend's championship. So the Barracudas have two netminders that they can feel confident in. And when you're playing in such a short time frame, so many games, it's so crucial to be able to have two goaltenders that you can rely on. Peters just tried to drag that blue line with her, but it didn't quite work as that's floated on net by Kingston, directed to the back wall by Davidson. Allen lifting the stick of Jordan Watson and getting it up and out to center with the help of Murdoch, but the pass was just behind Brent Pryor, and not sure how that wasn't an icing call, but Kingston would have been offside if they touched it as well, and now a one-touch pass from Humphrey ahead for Sarah Manis, drops it for Pryor's shot, is stopped by Parkinson. Well, Abigail Parkinson looking sharp early in this game as the Barracudas generate a few offensive chances, and that glove hand of Parkinson has made a couple of big stops. So it's looking good so far. For Burlington, it's going to be about finding a soft spot, trying to just chip away at the armor of Parkinson in the early going. Scramble off the draw, goes on back of the net, stopped up there by McFarland. Sent up this near side wall where Murdoch disrupts it there. Trying to dig it out now. Murdoch still on it. Humphrey at the line now, able to keep it alive. Swung around to the far side, deflected up and just out by Kingston. And now it's Jerrica Spry trying to center that in front, but the stick of Brent Pryor got in the way of that one. And Humphrey now racing towards it on the near side wall. Bounces up and knocked back down. And rolls out to Mackenzie Allen, ahead for Murdoch, who's got Sarah Manis going with her. She left it there. Manis trying to spin away from pressure, tied up and taken down. And the puck just comes to the blue line, but not out. Nicely kept alive by Murdoch. Markakis going to the net as Murdoch was badgered by three Ice Wolves. And it just bounces away from Callista Song and out to center. Charlotte Pekenhagen turning away. Pass goes off the skate of Peyton Armstrong and the puck changing hands in neutral ice brought back in their own zone by Kingston and just bounces away from uh, Pekenhagen for Chaffee now sends it up this near wall comes out to center Markakis had it just bounce off her stick and she's tied up by uh, Peyton Cormier as Kingston regroups again Cormier is bumped into by Chaffee and the puck comes back down to the Burlington zone as we approach the five minute mark of this first period. Puck in neutral ice again. Pryor trying to dump it ahead with the Averys on her wing. That's Avery Holmes stopping it up behind the net. Pryor 
Trying to reach after it, and it's up the near wall, but Kate Manis able to hold it in. Peters after it now, trying to drop it out in front, but just out of the reach of Holmes, and it's skated out to center now by McFarland, and just backhanded over the blue line, and not much further as Burlington's right back the other way. One touch pass from Peters just skipped over the stick of Holmes as she goes off for a change. Olivia Trace lands away from her by Kate Manis. It goes into the near corner. Manis throws it behind the net for Allen. Fanned on her attempt up that far wall. Taylor Woolsey now knocked away from her. Murdoch round back of the net to Kate Manis. Passes behind Peters though, and Kingston regains control, and that's thrown through the blue paint. And it's picked up by Murdoch and out to center now with Manis. Murdoch going to the net. Manis trying to cut there in front. She scores! We saw that play more than once last night, too. It's Murdoch from Manis in a 1-0 lead for Burlington. Make that four goals on the tournament for Claire Murdoch. She has arrived with a vengeance for this Provincials Championship. And Sarah Manis makes this happen. Speed through the neutral zone, just blows by that defender and goes to the net. And for Parkinson, you can't cheat to Claire Murdoch's side because Sarah Manis is so dangerous when she gets in close like that. And that allows you to get it across. And here's another chance. Pryor right away, back over for Manis, and her stick's lifted nicely by uh, Grace Campbell. She is out there. I, I had her scratched off the uh, off my roster, so maybe she was late coming to the ice, but it is a full roster for Kingston, as there's a nice pass ahead for Murdoch again, driving the net, just directed away behind it by Olivia Brassard, and it comes out in front again, taken away by Spry, and carried out to center now, but you know, something that we talked a bit about last night, and again is gonna be crucial for Burlington today, is endurance. Short bench for Burlington, missing two regular skaters. Meanwhile, Kingston here looks like a full roster. Well, absolutely, Jared. Again, we've talked about it a lot of times, just how much hockey is going to be played in such a short amount of time. And when you have this short of a bench, you've got just about every forward picking up extra shifts. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be a grind for Burlington, and that's why I think it's important for them to get on the board early and try and shorten the games as much as they can and kind of get Kingston out of it as early as possible. A little bit too much stick handling there by Kingston at the blue line, which caused that offside. So just over seven and a half minutes left in this first period. And a one nothing score for Burlington. This is Avery Holmes right off the draw. Trying to take it into that near corner. Sarah Manis swept that over to the far side, but it was off the skate of Sydney Johnston, who got it back out to center. Manis stole it away, and just silky hands, stick handling through Kingston, but couldn't quite get past the rest of them. Comes to the line for Kate Manis, though. Takes the slash and lost the puck, and the ice rolls trying to get something going here. Comes to the near side where Alexis Branna's pass doesn't connect. Charlotte Pekenhagen dropped it for Kate Manis. Just deflected in, I thought Avery Holmes touched it, but no avail in an icing call against Burlington. This period is brought to you by BDO Canada. Start living debt free with a free, no obligation consultation from a B. Seven oh three left, Burlington thinks it's on the right side of the ice, but it's on the left side. Pass did come from the right, right side, so I think Burlington was correct in that thinking as the puck bounces away from Sadie southward. It's fired just wide of the net. Holmes on the tie up in that far corner, knocked down with a high stick, and that, yep, there it is. I was waiting to see if that was gonna be called, and it was. It did feel like a, a little bit of a delayed call, maybe a second or so, but. The right call nonetheless in the face off out at center and it's the top line again of Burlington looking to continue making an early impact. And Sarah Manis gets tossed from the face off. Asking the lines person why, I think. Certainly that was the look she gave us. <laughs> she exited the, the face off dot. 
Nice pass just out of the reach of Pryor, and she's not quite going to beat out Kaylin Fisher for the icing call. Well, as Manis gets waved out, turns out it didn't matter. Bryn Pryor comes in and gets the winger win, and now Manis will get another chance to correct her mistake on the faceoff. Rolling puck off the draw sent to the line by Allen. Fired in deep again by Kingston. In this near corner, Thomas comes together with Sarah Manis. Comes out in front dangerously, but directed away by Ella Humphrey. Away from danger. Nice pass ahead now for Murdoch, who's trying to break free. Murdoch to the net. And no call on that play, as it could have been a hooking call, perhaps. Barracudas still have control of the puck in the offensive zone. Bryn Pryor tried to throw that on net. Bouncing puck in the high slot. Rolls to the near corner now as it's directed there by Parkinson. Behind the net, Pryor left it for Manis as she was tied up. Murdoch in front, also tied up. Stick in her midsection as well as she tried to play the puck, but sent down the ice by Grace Campbell and will call that a shot because it was directed on net even though it was from center ice. So three touches now for Sadie Davidson between the pipes for Burlington as Callista Song sends that out to Charlotte Pekenhagen and down the ice. Pekenhagen dancing away from Wolsey. David off to Chaffee on the near side. Shot on and stopped and held by Parkinson. Well you mentioned it only three stops early in this period for Sadie Davidson and we mentioned it a couple times talked about it last night and last weekend as well when the Barracudas are dominating in terms of possession like they do it's sometimes hard for the goaltender to get into the game. Big shot from Markakis was rejected in the slot by a Kingston defender as Pekenhagen's tied up in that far corner and it comes to Taylor Woolsey who carries it out and dumps it down the ice and they go for a change. Mercedes Chaffee. Near side pass for Flores. Cross ice knocked down and intercepted now by Broussard, but Kingston doesn't get much further than the Burlington blue line again. And they dump it out and go for a change. Kingston trying to catch them on that change, though. Uh, Brunet. Oh, and they score. Wow, what a shot from Peyton Armstrong up over the blocker of Davidson in the Ice Wolves have tied the game. Well, I think Davidson was starting to cheat over a little bit. It was a two-on-one situation. Mackenzie Allen was back defending, and I think she also kind of got caught between defending the shot and defending the pass, and didn't end up defending either of them, and that allows and sort of forces Davidson to cheat a little bit to respect the pass and opens up that near side for the Ice Wolves to tie this thing up. Burlington right back on the attack though. Puck skips over the stick blade of Peters. Kate Manis came in to help. Drilled into the boards was Murdoch as she's still on the puck behind the net. Bounces to the far side and Cormier fanned on her clearing attempt thrown out in front for Peters. Trying to backhand it on and it doesn't get through. Back to the line again. Allen across for Kate Manis. Long shot blocked in front and picked up by Armstrong and fired out to center now. On it is Cormier who dumps it in. Kate Manis from behind her own net. Cross for Allen just ahead of her, but she skates onto it and is rubbed out as she gets the puck away for Bryn Pryor. Now Manis ahead. And no icing on the play though, as Manis had gained the red line. And up at the Kingston blue line, it's carried out to center and in now. Centering pass, it's directed on as a shot. Sadie Davidson able to get that away to the far side. Brim Pryor ahead for Sarah Manis off her skate. And it's carried back the other way by Drana. Oh, that looked pretty close to offside as that just misses the glove of Davidson up over top of the net. Comes out in front and it's sent all the way down the ice. That'll be an icing call against Burlington. A little bit of momentum here for Kingston after they get the equalizer and they Get a chance to play a little bit with the puck in the offensive zone. And ultimately, that forces this icing call. As it was Choppy who sent it the length of the ice. And Burlington, they get their top line out. And you know that this is a dangerous trio in transition. So something that 
Kingston will have to keep an eye on as they try and create pressure offensively. Wrap around behind the net by Chaffee. Passes behind Murdoch and they send it back in deep. Kingston does and it's chipped out to center again. Over the stick of Pryor. Tied up right in front of us. And Murdoch able to find it now, drop it back to her defense across for Chaffee. Trying to settle the puck here, ahead for Murdoch now, chipping it ahead. Nicely now into the far corner, Murdoch after it. Comes to Sarah Manis on the near side. Manis behind the net for Murdoch. Back behind the net for Pryor again, they play pitch and catch back there. Murdoch tied up now, able to get it to Pryor again in this near corner, and she let it go for Kate Manis. In deep again, now Sarah Manis, skating with it at the blue line. Trying to find some space. Manis shoots. Blocked in front. Poked at the rebound that went behind the net. Murdoch turning away from Woolsey. Trying to force it in front. Pryor had her stick lifted. And Kingston's able to carry it out and send it off the glass and down the ice. Song over to the far side. Kate Manis trying to shovel it up that far wall. As Jordan Watson was spilled. T.J. Flores has her stick tied up, but she's held the puck there with her skate, and now Kate Manis sends it behind the net for Callista Song. Up the near side, kicked away from Pekenhagen by Southward. On it is Trace now, and in. To the far side, Watson backhands it on. Davidson pops out in front, and Davidson able to pounce on it and get the face off. Mackenzie Allen took a shot after the whistle from Olivia Trace there as she skated by. Nothing will come of it once again here as the officials intervened before Allen could retaliate. Uh, and no shots for Burlington in the last little while. Kingston is able to catch up six shots apiece now for both teams as we approach the final minute of this first period. Pekenhagen behind the net. Markak has tried to work it out in front. Nobody picked it up, but Flores stole it away from Taylor Woolsey. Bounces away from Markakis into the feet of the referee, where Markakis tries to dig it out. Flores now sent to the line. Allen for Markakis, and it's just poked away from her, but she got it back again. Markakis with some space now. Humphrey stopped. Rebound is loose. And Parkinson had no idea where the puck was. Kingston able to clear it out to center. But right back on the attack is Sarah Manis now. High slot, just missed the net. And Kingston trying to get to the end of the period as it's stolen away now by Peters and sent in. Peters against Cormier. Sent it round to the far side. Bounces away from her. Avery Holmes now for Peters. Just up over top of the net. Trying to pick that near corner. And it's taken by Cormier. Poked at by Holmes. Cormier still got it. Floats it on net and will count that as a shot as Davidson had to direct it to the near wall. Kingston now in their offensive zone trying to find a shot at the last second. It just finds its way through and the rebound does not get on net. Saved by the buzzer at the end of the period. Well that could have been bad for the Barracudas. It's a shot from the point that it's fanned on and Davidson I don't think sees it as it comes through the traffic and just rolls right on. She has to make a late reflex stop to keep it out. But on the other end, some good chances for the Barracuda. Sarah Manis dancing through the neutral zone once again, as she does so well to get a good shot. But a couple of good chances that they just can't hit the net on. A lot of shot attempts and Kingston getting in the way of a lot of pucks as well. I think you'd see a much higher shot total for Burlington if the lanes were a bit cleaner. Only seven by my count in that period for Burlington, but shot attempts, certainly a lot higher for Burlington than Kingston. Well, absolutely, yeah. They've just possessed the puck so well in the offensive zone, moved it around and tried to find those open lanes, but the Ice Wolves have just done a great job at clogging up the middle of the zone, getting in front of the net and putting the body on the line to block the shot. Parkinson has played really well in this first period so far. The Chances that Burlington has had have been cross-crease passes, rebound attempts, and she's been able to get in front of almost all of them. So I think Burlington's gonna have to work a little bit harder to get her moving and find a way around those bodies in front. 
utilize that screen. Well, yeah, just getting bodies to the front of the net themselves, uh, trying to get into that space in front, getting the eyesight of Parkinson and try and just thread some, thread some shots through and maybe bang in a rebound, maybe get a deflection and start to pull away in this game. You would think that they'd like to be ahead after the first period against the Ice Wolves here, but we'll start the second tied at one. Greco sends that top line out again. It's Kingston dumping it in. Davidson out to play it over to the far corner where Pryor meets it. Sends it back behind the net for Kate Manis. Now Allen out into the middle now for Sarah Manis, but she just couldn't quite corral that pass in. It was a good one, but maybe a little too hot to handle, and the Barracudas have to return to their own zone again. Now Pryor ahead for Manis. Murdoch trying to get to some open ice, and she's got the puck now. Allen wide open, trying to find Murdoch again in the short side, but it was just in front of her, and Cormier is out free, but the pass didn't quite get to her, and that allowed Burlington to recover. Here's Allen trying to whack it away from the high slot. Bryn Pryor able to kick it to herself and get it back out to center. A good break for Burlington there as all defenders were up at the blue line, and Cormier had some, well, tons of space. Well, yeah, we talked about it last night, how Burlington's been activating their defenders offensively, and that's the downside. You can get caught, and that could have been a 2 on 0 break if not for a misfired pass. Quickly back the other way for Burlington. Pekenhagen just tried to get that ahead for Flores, but it skipped away from her. Comes up to the near blue line. Humphrey trying to throw that on. Too much of the tip by Flores as she knocked it down instead. And Kingston's back the other way now. Chambers dumping it in. Davidson out to play it again. Trying to keep those puck touches up for Sadie Davidson. Comes up the near wall now. Flores poking it ahead. Across now for Choffey from uh, Pekenhagen. Choffey with a long shot. Hanging on with nobody around. Uh, maybe a early whistle there, but uh, face off coming for Kingston. And the Barracudas will take it. That gives them a chance to work in the offensive zone. They get Bryn Pryor out with the Averys here and Peters to take the draw, but Parkinson had plenty of time to play that puck. It decides to hang on anyways. Well, and Peters thrown out of the draw again, and I'm wondering what the lines people are looking at, whether it's encroachment or somebody sticks on the wrong side of the ice, but that's twice now Burlington's had their centers thrown out. Pryor fanned on her centering pass, but it comes out in front anyways, and Holmes was there to poke at it, and I think we'll give them a shot as Parkinson had Holmes jamming away at it. Well, for Burlington, both times that they've had their center waved out of the draw, it's been Bryn Pryor, the winger, coming in and getting the win in both situations. So uh, making the best of an unfortunate situation. Song keeping it alive at the near point. Racing onto it is Broussard. Up that far wall, Kate Manis pinching in, trying to keep it going, but it bounces up and out to center with Alexis Vrana, who just dumps it in. Stopped there by Davidson. Callista Song sent it up the near side now. Beaconhagen trying to find that pass, throws it to the open side where nobody was there. And back the other way, uh, Spry couldn't handle that pass either. And Murdoch is down the left wing side now for Burlington, centering it in front, and it ramps up a stick and over to the far side. Spry's on it again, long shot sent to the back wall by Davidson up that far side. Pryor ahead for Murdoch, and she's trying to turn on the Jets against Fisher. Wrapped up Murdoch, oh, off the crossbar as she backhanded up and over top of Parkinson. She had her beat, but the crossbar keeping that one out. Wow, Murdoch, what a great play. She slips by the defenders and collects the pass, but then as Fisher catches her, Murdoch just doing a great job using her body to create a lane for herself and gets in all alone and just lifts it to like half an inch too high. Looked like it caught like the inside yeah, of the crossbar. Yeah, uh, it came straight back down, but it didn't go down and in. And Burlington's on it again. Pryor wrapped up behind the net by McFarland, kicks it to the near side for Allen, who's pinching in. Murdoch goes back to 
recover Allen's point as Manis digs it out from the tie-up with Allen. Now dropped to the line for Humphrey with a long shot. Kicked out, rebound for Allen. And scooped away by Manis to keep it alive. They score! Britt Pryor finds Sarah Manis on the short side of the net, and I think it's actually the reverse of that. Manis finding Pryor, and it's 2-1 Burlington. Well, that's just good work from Sarah Manis. Dog it on that puck. Parkinson thought she had it. She dives down to cover it up, but Manis pokes it out at the last second and carries it around the net before sending it out front for Pryor. And that just leaves Parkinson sort of scrambling, not expecting to have to make that save. And Pryor puts it in to restore the lead. Burlington just their third shot on goal as we approach the four minute mark of this second period now, but still with loads of possession time as uh, Pekenhagen tried to return that to Mark Kakis. And she's got it now in that far corner. In deep floor as back out in front, Mark Kakis for Pekenhagen. And if she was left-handed, she would have had that one in, but just couldn't quite get a stick on that one. Tie up on the near side wall. Comes to the line. I think it's Markakis with it right now. Flores knocked away from her though. Bounces out to center. Choppy across for Song. Trying to shovel it ahead. Markakis trying to dig it out now at the blue line. Markakis does and she's got Flores going to the net. Trying to pick that short side again. Block it away. Trying to send that out in front again. Knocked away by the stick of Parkinson. Pekenhagen trying to settle that puck and keep it alive, but it was rolling on her, and that should not still be offside. The Barracuda's cleared the zone, uh, but they, regardless, cleared again, but that's going to go all the way down the ice. No icing, though. Peters in deep Murdoch now. Got both defenders open, finds Allen on the near side. Her pass off the skate of Taylor Wolsey and goes into the near corner. Allen trying to dig it out. It flutters out to center where Peters finds it. Aim it off to Kate Manis. Quickly back for Murdoch now. Holmes going to the net. Murdoch for Allen and it just goes off a stick and over top of the net. Peters in deep for Murdoch. Holmes still in front of the net taking some abuse as Murdoch tries a shot. That's block two. Peters finds it on the near side. Left it for Allen. Allen trying to get it in deep, but it's directed back out and down the ice by Kingston. Manis ahead for Holmes, one touch for Peters now with Markakis, who left it there. Markakis cross for Manis. Didn't get all that shot as it just rolled off her stick blade on the receipt of the pass. Kingston dumps it back in again and goes after it. Humphrey in against Chambers. And Chaffee's back there as well, coming out with it. Chambers trying to wrap it out in front, and I think that went off the side of the net. Chaffee ties up her opponent, and it's taken by Chambers. Left it there, and now it's back of the line. Trying to step around Murdoch is Fisher, and Murdoch tied her up nicely, and Pryor's back the other way now. One-on-one, -on -one. Pryor trying to wait for some help. Chaffee going to the net, just got it out in front, and it was... Stopped at the side post there and held on to by Parkinson. This period is brought to you by J-Man Farms, a southern Manitoba grain farm helping to feed the world. Some coaching from the bench from uh, Kevin Greco as Flores wins that draw. Pekenhagen. Interfered with it a little bit as she tried to go after that puck behind the net. Up that far side, nice kick in the line by Manis to keep it alive. Markakis trying to do something with it, drags it through. Markakis still with it, shot, stopped by Parkinson again. What a play from Ellie Markakis. One hand on the stick, on the backhand, pulls it through to the middle of the ice and gets a good shot away. Again, it's the glove hand of Abigail Parkinson that makes this stop, but how about that? keep at the line from Kate Manis. And Markakis, no points yet in the tournament to show for it, but she has looked good in these two games so far, buzzing for goal. We'll see if she can get one in the second half of this game here. Flores 
retreating back into her own zone. Pass away from Manis, she went back for it. Now Flores, up the near side, Pekenhagen deflected it out, but it was behind Markakis. This is Campbell now, just on side, knifed away by Flores, and Markakis was looking the other way as Flores tried to hit her with a pass. Broussard off the glass, and to Campbell now, as she has to retreat into her own zone. Markakis and Sarah Manis disrupting the play on that near side. And penalty coming, I think. Well, this is a hook, and it looks like it's Ali Markakis. Ali Markakis and some attitude from the referee is there was a question on the play for what the penalty was for. And Markakis goes to the box for hooking. Well, it's just as she's going after this puck on the far side, uh, trying to get a stick lift in. Stick gets a little bit up into the hands and the official makes the call. So Burlington will head to the kill. It's Mackenzie Allen taking a face off. Hey, you know why not? She almost won it there, but it comes back to the line as the Barracudas set things up. I wonder if they were anticipating Allen being thrown out as the puck settled on the back of the net for a second, and Allen sends it up and down the ice. Murdoch, the four checker. Errant pass intercepted by Pryor. Murdoch's trailing. Drop pass for Murdoch, back in front. Just disrupted on the centering pass by Fisher. Otherwise, Pryor was wide open again on this short side of the net. Well, these two, when they're out as the forwards on the penalty kill, are so dangerous. The chemistry they have and the anticipation there to intercept that pass in the neutral zone creates that play on the penalty kill. Quick change of the penalty kill unit for Burlington, and it's Cormier trying to step around Manis. Still got the puck. Watched by Chaffee, and it's dumped in deep. Song into the near corner. Trying to flip it up the near side wall. Tied up there. Puck comes to the line and out and down the ice for Burlington. Broussard going after it now. Broussard with a long pass. Hits Spry with it. Down the near side and in deep. On a step around the official as Flores has it poked away from her, but Chaffee picked it up and lifts it high and down the ice again with 30 to go in this penalty to Markakis. Song disrupting that right at the blue line and sending it back in deep again. Rana's on it, bumped by Holmes as she tried to send it up the wall. And Trace ahead now for McFarlane. And just pickpocketed nicely by Pekenhagen. Now Holmes is away. Down the right wing side with a long shot that goes just wide. Penalty is over to Markakis. We return to even strength. Holmes ahead for Peters just out of her reach. No icing on it though. Picked up by McFarland behind her own net. Peters gets picked as it's sent out to center now. Woolsey knocked away from her by Allen. And puck comes to the bench as they were opening the door to get a change for Kingston. And Burlington now with Mackenzie Allen ahead for Murdoch, stepping away from Brunnett. Now ahead for Peters. Pekenhagen going to the net. Peters sends it in deep for Pekenhagen. Tried to get it back out in front for Peters. It was off the stick of Johnston. As Cormier now launches that one all the way up and down the ice. And an icing call coming, yes, to Kingston. Well, a good kill from the Barracudas as they survive the Ellie Markakis minor penalty, and now they get a chance to work offensively, generate momentum off that penalty kill, and try and continue to extend their lead in this second period. 4.22 left in said second period, and you know it's the top line back out there for Burlington, but a clean win off the draw for Brunnett. Pryor trying to take that away as she has her stick ripped out of her hands, but Murdoch kept it alive at the blue line. Murdoch trying to keep it going, but two Ice Wolves took the puck away from her and got it back out to center. Humphrey ahead for Murdoch, settling it, sent it to the open side where she thought Manis was going to be, but Manis was swapping as that's deflected in by the Kingston Ice Wolves off the skate of Humphrey. 
And Pryor and Murdoch both starting the breakout now with the pass from Humphrey. Murdoch now trying to find Manis in front, she scores! Sarah Manis from Claire Murdoch and another assist for Ella Humphrey with a breakout pass and it's 3-1 Burlington. Sarah Manis just gets to the net and Claire Murdoch doing a good job outweighing the defender who tries to get the stick down to block it. Murdoch just holds onto that puck an extra half second to open up a lane behind the defender and find Manis. And this line has been unreal for the Barracudas in this tournament, carrying the team really through the first game and a half. They have been virtually unstoppable and just on side there for Pekenhagen as she tries to work to the net. Flores' his shot is blocked by Brassard. And Burlington still on the puck in the offensive zone. Markakis across for Song. Risks a shot, deflected just wide by Pekenhagen. Flores banks it back to Manis. Now Song again in deep. Markakis comes to the line across for Kate Manis. Long shot again, that's blocked in front with, by uh, Southward who's without her stick. And the Ice Wolves try to break free again. It's Vrana sending that on and the stick lifted in front. It's her second shot of the game or the period for the Ice Wolves as they try to break out again. Nice receipt of the pass from Spry as that launched up over top of the net. Davidson trying to direct that away. Bank to the line and across now for Johnston. Shot blocked by Pekenhagen and that stung her a little bit. Might have caught her on the inside of the leg as Kingston tries to keep going. And yeah, Pekenhagen laboring up that shot block. She's trying to get the puck out now. Reaching for it with Flores now. Giving it off to Kate Manis and she's gotta be quick. And Pekenhagen is not ready for that pass as she's gonna get off to the ice, uh, get off to the bench now. Good stick lift by Allen. Another shot coming though, and Davidson made the save as the Barracudas are able to clear it out to center. Well, that's a, that was a long shift for Charlotte Peak and they start in the offensive zone and then get caught a little bit and have to defend. And, and she blocks that shot and that definitely took a bite out of her. Slight miscue from the Averys, but it's Peters now with a sharp angle shot that goes right through the slot and back to the line. Humphrey across for Allen now. High slot, Pryor trying to sweep that in front. Peters was behind it, but she goes after it in that far corner. Taken up by McFarland and skated out to center now. McFarland dumping it in. Davidson out to play it. Wraps it up the near side wall. Puck rolls out to center. And it's Southward trying to throw that in. Humphrey couldn't get that out. Tied up, trying to find an inner feet, and Ella Humphrey wins that battle against two Ice Wolves and gets it ahead for Peters. Dropping it for Markakis with a long shot, right on. Stopped and held by Parkinson. Well, a good rush there from Peters and Markakis, but I think a little bit of a miscue there. The pass from Ella Humphrey, I think she was looking to hit Markakis at the offensive blue line. She might have had a better lane to the net than Peters did, who received the pass, but they make the best of it anyways, with Markakis getting a good shot off and continuing her strong play. As you said, no points, but it, it feels like she could have four or five. Oh, at least. Beautiful passes and some great shots, attempts on net for sure. Flipped in deep by Murdoch. Markakis going after it. And it's picked up by Brunnett, reversed into the near corner again. Pryor going after it. Brunnett's on it once more. As that's Broussard actually passing it to Brunnett, getting it ahead now and shoveling it in deep as Armstrong will count that as a shot as Davidson had to direct that to the far wall. Drop back to the line now across for Johnston. Long shot, tip, they score! Nice deflection in front and Kingston with another late period goal to come within one as it's 3-2. Well, that's what they always say, go to the net and good things happen. That's what Alexis Burnett does there. She gets in the vision of Sadie Davidson and on that point shot, that's a really nice tip to just tap that down between the legs of Davidson and get the ice wheels back into this one. Those late period goals can be really back breaking to a team. So Burlington, uh, important 30 seconds really to try and regain some momentum going into the third. 
This is Kate Manis across for Pryor. Tried to one touch that ahead, but didn't get enough of it. But Kate Manis with some speed now through center. Turning away with Sarah Manis. Couldn't handle the puck. But now it's across for Pryor. 10 seconds to go in the period. Just through the legs of Kate Manis. And there won't be enough time for Burlington to get one more shot as the Ice Wolves send it down the ice. And that will do it for two periods of play. A low event period as far as actual shots on goal, but a lot of attempts, certainly for Burlington, and a lot of possession in the offensive zone for the Barracudas. Well, yeah, it's, again, the Ice Wolves have just done a great job getting in the lanes, not allowing those shot attempts to get through to Abigail Parkinson. And for the Barracudas, when they have gotten pucks to the net, it's gone well for them. They're doing a good job at getting bodies to the front of the net, and that's how they've scored their goals, and that's what they'll need to continue doing as they head to this third period. They're only up one. They're ideally going to want to get three or four more. Well, of course, we'll keep an eye on Charlotte Peekenhagen, who got stunned by that shot block, and she headed to the dressing room. I don't think she took a shift afterwards, but she's got a bit of time to recover, and hopefully we'll see her out again for the third period that's coming up after the Zamboni does its rounds. Let's try that one more time. Maybe it's time to say, and we're guessing items. Yeah, okay. And we're yeah. guessing items okay, from yeah. before the 200. Wow, that's long. Yeah, that Two, is. Not 200. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah Manis. And I'm Kate Manis. I'm Claire Murdoch. I'm Bryn Pryor. And, and we're, we're guessing, guessing items from before the 2000s. Oh, that's so good. What was that? Be like? What are his pants called? It's got to be snow pants. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they look like the pants that referees wear. I don't know what they're <laughs> called. Okay, we gotta go get something. I feel like snow pants. Sure, let's go with snow <laughs> pants. <laughs> oh, track pants. No, they're not. Pants, hockey pants. No. Track They're like ringette pants. You know? We have to show the camera. <laughs> okay. Um, That's guy. He does. It's okay. He has a good number, though. <sighs> okay, besides the fact, <laughs> the pants. Track um, pants? Yeah, track pants. Track pants. Final yeah. guess, track pants. Cooper <laughs> I would have hey, gotten that. What? You know what that is? Yep. I've never heard that in my life. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't know. It's not called like a. It's like a landline? No, it's because of telephone. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, a, it's a, like a, what's it called? Not landline, but like. Just landline, no. What it's is this called? Like it's a telephone. It's a telephone, okay? Yeah. <laughs> what no. is my key? <laughs> <laughs> I swear I have you. Yeah, I'm dark. old, so. You like, are. Okay, yeah, you didn't. No, I didn't. I had the one like where you draw. Like yeah, I have that too. You like yeah, erase yeah, yeah, yeah. and you crank them. Yeah. yeah. Can you guess? It's like a, like an old like a DS. I think it's like a game that like the guy like might like, yeah. fall. Yeah. You have to like push the button. And you he know? falls. You have to like make him like stay up. Floating man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it DS. should be called that. Yeah. 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 Old floating game. <laughs> A Tamagotchi. A what? A Tamagotchi. What? A Tamagotchi. <laughs> it's headphones. <laughs> uh, just headphones, like stereo. Yeah. CD headphones. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Headphones. Let's, let's go with headphones. Walkman. Walkman? Walkman. Would have never got that. Yeah. <laughs> Sydney Crosby, as a child. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's hear yours. Yeah, let's hear yours. Well, I don't know. It looks like a kid on the side of the street. Someone you know. Someone oh. you know. Is it Colin? No. Yeah. No Colin? Like Is it Kevin? He has dark Maybe, hair. yeah. It's Kevin. Kevin. Greco. Greco. Oh, never mind. Um, Jared. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we know? Someone we know. Like someone we know personally? Like from the rank? 
like in this organization. Oh. Who looks like that? I'm too old! It's a too old! Oh my god! I'm too old. <laughs> that was good. Thank you for watching. This was Items Before the 2000s.
Welcome back, everybody. We're just about ready for the third period as the ice settles down. It looks a little wet, so I think the teams are maybe taking an extra few seconds to get out onto the ice. And, of course, they can't go out until the referees show up anyways. But gives us a little bit of time to check out what's going on in the rest of the tournament because there's some interesting scores happening right now that could affect how we do later on in the tournament. Well, yeah, Jared, a couple of games that have interesting implications for the Barracudas within their division. The East Ottawa Stars and the Central York Panthers are tied at one. Those are the Central York Panthers, certainly a team who would be competing with the Barracudas to take the top spot in this division. And elsewhere at Scotiabank Pond, North York Storm down by a goal against the Barry Sharks. And then in another game with interesting implications for Burlington, the Whitby Wolves, who are... Uh, competitor to take a top spot in their division tied scoreless with the blue water hawks so some scoreboard watching as you always have in tournaments like this and for burlington they'll look to run away with this game in the third period and secure that highest goal differential well and all those games you mentioned are entering the third period similar to us or are just finishing the second period based on timing so it's uh, all gonna pan out by the end of this one and then facing Central York later tonight as Burlington gets underway the stick of Murdoch is slashed out of her hands but no call on that one as it's sent into the Barracuda zone Allen tied up with Campbell in that far corner Bounced out to the line, but it's going to go all the way down the ice. And that was that was sent down the ice by an ice wolf. So I'm not sure how that ends up being icing against Burlington. That was very clearly past an attempt to the blue line from the ice wolves. So uh, unfortunate call for Burlington here early in this third period because they have to work in their own zone. Well, on the bright side, it's early in the period. The skaters who they have out aren't tired. And it just bounced out to the blue line anyway. It all works out in the end. <laughs> exactly. oh, this is Sarah Manis from behind her own net. A little bit of a dangerous stick handle as it's taken away by the Ice Wolves. McFarland holding it into the blue line, but Spry lost the puck to Allen. And here goes Sarah Manis now. Dances around Murdoch and drops it to her. Murdoch across ice for Pryor with a shot. That's stopped by Parkinson. And Burlington sets up in the offensive zone again. Humphrey in deep for Murdoch. Left it behind the net, but both the other forwards were in front. But Manis unable to, or Manis breaking that pass up. And Kingston unable to get it out of their zone so far. Now it does get out to center as they make a change. So Humphrey sends it back to Chaffee who uh, had the puck roll on her a little bit. So bounced behind the net, now comes out in front, fanned on her shot, and Sadie Davidson able to cover it up, but dangerously in front, Brunnett had the puck roll on her. Well, nervous moments in the Barracuda Woo. zone. Brunnett was all alone in front and with some space to work with as well. And just has the puck slide off her stick and the Barracudas catch a break. A little bit of a miscue from Allen and Chaffee as maybe the ice still being a little bit wet as Pekenhagen was offside, I guess. That's another close one. It's Pekenhagen admits responsibility to Kate Manis who sent that pass up the ice. Uh, they're going to have to come all the way down as that pass was from Barracuda zone. So a bit of a stop and go start to this third period. And a clean win off the draw for Brunnett. Wolsey's shot goes well wide. Pekenhagen trying to catch up to it. And she directs it to the wall where Flores misplayed it. But she tried to send it in deep again. Comes out in front and no ice wolves were in the slot. So Markakis is able to clear it out. And down the ice, Pekenhagen racing after it against Grace Wolsey. Pekenhagen stole it away from her and threw it out in front as Woolsey and Pekenhagen go down in a heap. And Flores was just sniffing around the crease to try and poke that in. Pekenhagen's on it again in that far corner. Out in front, Markakis trying to drag it through with Kate Manis, who sent that wide. And she goes after it on this near side. 
Trying to turn away from pressure and send a pass up, but it didn't work. This is Peters now. Actually, Holmes with a sharp angle shot. And that was stopped by Parkinson. Comes up the near far side wall, and this is Peters now. Trying to take it round back of the net. Knocked away from her and cleared out and down the ice. Not enough for icing, though, so Davidson stopped it for Humphrey. Across for Allen now. Back into the middle and just out of the reach of Peters. And that is an icing call again against Burlington, their fifth of the game. Well, in this third period, just feels like the Barracudas aren't crisp with their passes. They're not connecting tape to tape like they want to be. And that's led to a couple of these icing calls that offside on Pekenhagen. And it's given the Ice Wolves uh, some time to work in the offensive zone. Another win off the draw for the Ice Wolves. It's Rana with the shot blocked by Holmes from that far point. Kate or Sarah Manis digging it out, sending it across for Peters. It skips away from her, but she goes after it. Allen going to the net, tried to throw it in front there by Peters, and it's come back out to center now with Murdoch shoveling it in deep and going after it. Southwood almost overskated the puck as Murdoch comes in to tie her up. Flores in there as well. And it comes to the far sideline now. Song banks it ahead for Murdoch and in deep now for Flores. Song back at the line. Pryor in the middle. Long shot goes wide looking for a tip. This is Murdoch again in front. Pryor's tied up. And the shot, I think it got on and it came back out into the slot. And Pryor got it back again. This is Murdoch now. Oh, and just out of the reach of Pryor as she tried to throw it in front again. Ahead now for Murdoch, and that was, yeah, it was offside for sure as Burlington once again just trying to break into the offensive zone. And things are not quite firing, as you said, for the Barracudas at the moment here. Well, just a miscommunication, an extra little move from Claire Murdoch to try and beat the defender, and Sarah Manis just got into the zone ahead. Song's pass was rejected by Campbell at the center line, but she's got it again. Lifts it back for Choffey. Now finds Pryor cleanly in the center ice area. Got it off for Manis, who tries to shovel it in deep, but it was intercepted and cleared back out to center and Spry's taking it away from Choffey now, centering it in front. And Campbell had it knocked away from her by Murdoch, rolling puck in the high slot, taken by Spry, turning and firing it across. Murdoch sent it to the line, blocked nicely by Song and sent to the far corner. Wrapped down to the near side by Choffey. And Pryor's now trying to find Murdoch out through center. Offers skate, but she leaves it for Manis, who's got the speed, sent into the near corner. Manis. Trying to cut out in front now, Flores there. And it was actually Kate Manis who kicked it to the far side where it's taken by Campbell. Markakis disrupting that play. But McFarlane followed up and skates it out to center. Pekenhagen sending it back for Flores and return to Pekenhagen again. Into the middle, Allen let it go for Kate Manis across for Markakis. Tried to send that on and it was blocked by Grace Woolsey. Tipped by Pekenhagen, by Taylor Woolsey now. Trace going to the net, tried to center it in front there. Rolling puck doesn't get through, and Pekenhagen finds it on the near side and skates it out to center. Didn't hit Mark Hackis with a clean pass. Back the other way now is Sidney Johnston trying to chip it past Kate Manis, and Kate Manis has her stick slashed out of her hands, and it's loose in the high slot. Mark Hackis trying to find Pekenhagen now. Turn on the Jets. Shoveled away from her by Southward, but she still got it and sent it in deep for Holmes to go after on the near side. Avery Holmes trying to work behind the net. It's poked away from her by Southward and fired up the near side wall. Swept at by Pryor and across now for Chaffee, but it was off the heel of her stick. Tied up behind the net. At Humphrey came in to help. Up the near side wall now and out to center. Armstrong, watched by Holmes, gave it away to Peters now, trying to work to the net, and it's knocked off her stick by Brunnett. Rolling puck comes out to center, Brunnett across, Cormier, trying to drop it now for Brunnett, high slot, blocker it away, up and out of play by Davidson. That's a sharp stop from Davidson as the drop back pass leads to a 
quick shot, and Davidson just able to get that blocker out in time to make the stop. And again for Burlington, the play in the offensive zone just hasn't been crisp in this period. They're not getting the passes that they want to, and it's leading to those chances against, and they can't keep playing like that for the rest of this game. Kate Manis hard up the boards and out to center. Murdoch dug it free with Pryor. Drops it for Manis. Return for Murdoch. In front. She scores! Murdoch from Manis again. And Burlington restores a two-goal lead. It's 4-2. And that is a rocket from Claire Murdoch. Parkinson did have enough time on that to get across and get at least mostly square, but... Murdoch just rips that right over the shoulder, bar down for her fifth of the tournament in two games. And it was Manis who was on fire with the goals in championship weekend. And this weekend it's prior, but assists from Manis on almost all of them. And there she is again, but she fanned on the pass. It's poked away from Kate Manis. And Song recovers the puck in her own zone. Even off to Kate Manis once more. She's got Murdoch on the cross ice pass. It's deflected by Johnston, but Pryor's going to the net. And Murdoch lifted that up over top of it. And the Ice Wolves are back the other way. Rana, watched by Pryor, just on side as she dumped it in. Puck bounced off the wall and came out to the goaltender. And Davidson had to make a play on it as the Barracudas have to uh, reset the breakout in their own zone. This is Pryor now. Sees her teammates are going for a change, so she jumps it in and does that as well. Flores on it on that far side wall. Allen poking at it. Pekenhagen trying to tie up uh, Spry, and the two of them come together right in front of the Kingston bench. Allen's now got the puck, deflected ahead by Pekenhagen and in. Southward on it for Kingston, tracked by Markakis. Ahead for Spry on this left side. Cross ice pass glove down by Pekenhagen, and that is a hand pass. This period is brought to you by Canadian Cutting and Coring, serving the needs of the concrete drilling and sawing industry since 19. Face off outside the Burlington zone. Markakis drops it back, and the defensive duo of Humphrey and Chaffee make a pass, and it's flipped in by Markakis. Goes behind the net up that far side. Cormier gave it away. Flores trying to find an open lane. Drops it to the line again for Chaffee and across for Humphrey. High slot. Pekenhagen spins and fires, and that's blocked in front by Johnston. And the Ice Wolves try to get it out to center again. Cormier, no, that was Fisher, couldn't get that in front. Near side, Pekenhagen banks it ahead for Holmes. Holmes, one on four as that shot goes off the shoulder of Parkinson. And back out to center again. Woolsey trying to sidestep all of Burlington and floats that on, which will count that as a shot on Davidson. Song looking for the outlet pass, finds Murdoch with it and dumps it in. Murdoch out there with the Averys now as Peyton Armstrong fires it up the near side and out. Kate Manis knocks it down. Holmes trying to dig it out with Kate Manis. She's got it across for Murdoch now and over the blue line. Murdoch toe dragging it through, backhander scores! Oh my goodness! What a beauty from Claire Murdoch! Her second hat trick in as many games, and it's 5-2. Take a bow, Claire Murdoch. Unbelievable. The toe drag to the backhand. That's one of the best goals we've seen all season. Oh my goodness. And she has turned it on in this tournament. What a performance from number nine. And that gives Burlington the three goal cushion to match Etobicoke. As we'll take a quick look around the Scotiabank pond for other scores. Flores is thrown out of the draw, but she got it from Markakis, who won it cleanly. Now ahead for Markakis from Allen. Armstrong lost the puck at her feet. Southward on that far side, bounced it off the boards and out to center. Allen ahead for Pekenhagen. And down the left wing side, Pekenhagen 
badgered by Brassard. Stolen away by Brassard. Flipped off the boards. Now by Vrana, but not out. Flores recovers her stick as Markakis sends it across for Humphrey. Long shot, nicely through the screen. And a delayed whistle in front, but that's, those are the kind of shots that we've been talking about Burlington needing to get through. And that one does find its way through the screen and on to uh, uh, Parkinson. Well, a quick score update here is on pawn four here at Scotiabank. It's a one nothing lead now for the Whitby Wolves as they try and retain their first place spot in their division. But that's good news for Burlington, the lower goal differential. And over on rink one, it's still a 1-1 tie between Central York and East Ottawa. Pass out of the reach of Campbell, but she races after it. Song able to beat her out to it. Now Murdoch into the middle, knocked down by Manis, trying to fish for it in front of her, and she couldn't quite corral it in. Cross ice pass off the skate of Campbell. Pryor bumped as she got it to Murdoch, but she overplayed it. Murdoch dropping it back. Now for Song and across for Chaffee. Off the skate of Pryor, but Murdoch was a step ahead, and that is an offside. Well, again, just not quite a crisp play there. As Murdoch steps in ahead. She's expecting that pass to Pryor to go to the stick, which was already in the offensive zone. Instead, it's off the skate, and that delays it by a quarter of a second, which is enough to make the difference. Kate Manis in the middle for Holmes, who deflects it in. McFarlane after it, and so is Holmes. Holmes knocks down McFarlane, and Markakis trying to dig it out now with Holmes. McFarland goes after her. Big battle for the puck, nicely dragged through by Markakis, and it goes off as skating wide. Peters on the near side, now and in deep for Markakis again. Bumped off the puck, but Holmes came in to help behind the net. Holmes trying to dig it out now. Trace there, this is Markakis with it. Far side, at the line, Allen across for Kate Manis. High slot, Peters deflected it for Markakis, and another save by Parkinson, and a high stick touched in front by Peters trying to knock down that rebound and so the puck comes outside the zone. Well, Ellie Markakis again with a great chance as she leans into that one-time shot but Parkinson gets the glove or the blocker rather on in that's maybe the fourth or fifth grade A scoring opportunity that Ellie Markakis has had and still nothing to show for it. Pryor takes multiple slashes in the hands as Murdoch dropped it back for Humphrey. Loose in the high slot, now Manis, rebound in front. Murdoch lifted it up over top of the net. On and again on this near side is Sarah Manis dropping it for Chaffee and in deep now for Pryor. Near side, Murdoch with that sharp angle shot from that far wall, doesn't get on net again. Manis now working her way in front. Glided it just wide. Murdoch behind the net now. Near side and trying to find a pass. Sends it back to the line for Chaffee. In deep again, Murdoch. Humphrey thought about sneaking into the front of the net. Now it's Murdoch again. Another save made by Parkinson. Well, once again, that top line out and it feels like a power play. Just the way they play in the offensive zone and they create chances. And Claire Murdoch had a couple of good looks for her fourth of the afternoon, but just lifted that one at the side of the net high and had some twine to look at. Uh, puck just bounced away from Markakis, and now it's uh, Wahlbert, Wamp Wambolt, excuse me. And Pekenhagen recovering the puck in her own zone, tied up. So Flores came in and sent it back for Song who lifted it across to Kate Manis and that puck bouncing on her. Three Ice Wolves ambushed her, but they were able to get it out to center now. Markakis knocked down by Southward. No call on the interference there as Brana takes the puck out through center. She's still got it over the blue line and past Allen. Brana into the far corner now, centering it in front. Comes all the way back to the blue line and out to center. Nobody wanted to touch that one. And the Ice Wolves try and break in again with McFarlane who sends it around back of the net. Mylan up the far side. Holmes goes all the way down the ice, but it's deflected there. Peters racing after it. McFarlane ties her up. 
Peters trying to get her stick free, but in came Fisher to dig it out first. Holmes took it away from her. Peters sends it behind the net for Manis. Manis trying to find someone in front and it goes off a of body and wide. Allen trying to settle it down, but it rolls on her and she decides to take it back out to center. Humphrey dumping it in again. Peters trying to reach for it as well as Holmes. Holmes who's looked good herself in this game as well. Trying to keep that play alive, but it's dumped in again by Kingston and she goes off her change. Out at center again. This is Woolsey. Up ahead and deflected through into the offensive zone by Kingston where Humphrey meets it. And it's sent up into the feet of the Lions person as Pekenhagen now has to dig it out on that far side. Rolls around behind the net. Humphrey up the near side wall and ahead. Across now for Murdoch receiving it behind her and deflected it ahead. And it's thrown errantly out to center. 144 to another. Now it's Pekenhagen with a shot and another save by Parkinson. Well, there's 5.46 remaining in this game, so we've played a solid 45 minutes, and it's hard to believe that we've gone all that way without the Barracudas getting a power play. When you consider how much they've had the puck in the offensive zone, I mean, and we've seen some things that certainly looked like they should have been called. You saw Ellie Markakis get hauled down nowhere near the puck, but the officials putting the whistles away in this Friday matinee. Mercedes Chaffee off the glass and out to center. It was ahead of Sarah Manis, but Chaffee able to pinch ahead and dump it in deep. Manis looking after it. Says southward now up the near side. Throws it to the open side where Song finds it and fires it in deep again. Parkinson left it behind the net, but Murdoch got there first. Murdoch trying to get it to Sarah Manis and it comes up the near wall. Chaffee in deep for Murdoch. Kind of feathered in front for Pryor. Murdoch still got it. Now Manis, sharp angle shot doesn't get through. Comes up to the half wall and back for Chaffee now. Just sneaks by Chaffee though, but Watson can't catch up to it. Sarah Manis again. Drops it for Pryor, back in front for Manis, but a stick got in the way. And the Ice Wolves return it out to center now, Cormier. Stick lifted by Allen nicely and it's left in the high slot. Reaching for it was Murdoch who knocked it away from McFarlane and down the ice. Great effort from Murdoch there to not only take it away from McFarlane but also clear the puck out to center from her knees. And that's an offside call that, uh, I mean, McFarlane really caused because Pekenhagen was basically just carried into the zone against her will and so, uh, it's another offside for Burlington, but 421 left in this third period. And a 5-2 lead for your Barracudas as Markakis tries to dig it out with Flores. And it's dropped back for Kingston by Fisher now. Ahead for Cormier. Deflected it ahead and Pekenhagen's got it. Hard off the boards, but it was deflected by a stick. And so the Ice Wolves try to settle it down again. This is Armstrong. Lost an edge as she deflected it or backhanded, excuse me, in deep. Allen trying to catch up to it on that far side, poking at it, but it doesn't get out. Vrana's still on it. Off the skate of Pekenhagen, and Charlotte Pekenhagen creates some room for herself. Out through center, just knifed away from her, and Markakis couldn't quite reach it, and it's sent all the way out and down the ice by Kingston, and back the other way again. Uh, but no icing on the play for Burlington. This is Grace Woolsey now. Hard pass and deflected the length of the ice as Holmes reached in for it. Davidson out to play it and she's gotta be quick but it bounced by uh, Claire Chambers. Lucky for her otherwise Davidson may have had to jump back into the net a little quicker than she needed to there as it's cleared back out to center again by Kingston. Chaffee banks it off the boards for Pryor and it goes into the feet of the lines person again and Murdoch is out in front. No, that's Peters on the centering pass from Holmes as she tried to sneak by the referee behind the net to come on to the four check. Broussard ahead, kept in by Song, reaching for it now, bouncing puck settled by Thomas and it's Chambers ahead. Song rubbed her out as she tried to dump, dump it in. This is Kate Manis now. 
Ahead for Peters and across for Sarah Manis. And that is another stick handle at the blue line and they are tight on these offsides for sure. Well, Sarah Manis just loves to stick handle the puck through the neutral zone. She's really good in transition there and it's Avery Peters who gets in a little bit of a head, not a usual line mate of Manis and it might be a part of the cause of the miscommunication there. That's of course eight forwards still for Burlington. There's no call ups in any game for any team in the entirety of the Provincials. Manis tried to return it to her by Kate, or, uh, Claire Murdoch and it's now at the blue line in deep for Sarah Manis. Now behind the net, Murdoch got in front and Sarah Manis is tied up again, but Song keeping it alive. Bank down in deep for Murdoch. Near side now, Sarah Manis dancing away and trying to come out in front and falling as she ripped that shot just wide of the near side and off the glass. Murdoch in deep again, sends it round to the near side for Sarah Manis. Return to the line for her sister and back to Sarah again. Across to Callista Song as Sarah Manis goes off for change. That's kicked out by Parkinson on a cross crease shot, deflected to Markakis by Flores. Markakis in deep for Flores, trying to catch up to it. She's got uh, Fisher all over her, and they score! Ellie Markakis on the short side. Not really a pretty one, but it works, and she's got one now on the board, 6-2. Well, that's, a, that's one of the strangest goals we've seen. <laughs> that puck rolled over the top of the net and then falls right at the feet of Ellie Markakis. And after all the pretty plays she's been making and nice passes, her first point comes on a lucky bounce, which is sometimes <laughs> how it goes. Well, and what do we give Flores an assist on that one? I, I'll have to, I'll have to <laughs> review. I'll we'll have to look at the um, video review as that's another offside call for Burlington with a minute five to go in this third period. I'll see if that can snap the unfortunate streak that Mark Haggis has been on and maybe some of the nicer plays she's been making will start ending up in the back of the net, but I'm sure she won't mind getting that goose egg off the score sheet. Uh, some scoring coming from someone other than the top line has definitely been needed for Burlington as well as it's very much been top line and top line only. So a few points on the board for second and third line forwards. Holmes with an assist and now Markakis with that goal. And we'll see if Flores gets one. I've written it down to remind me myself for later. Uh, with 48 seconds left on that icing against Kingston. Tie up off the draw by Holmes. Peters trying to come up with it. Thomas got it ahead for Taylor Woolsey. Chips it now into the Burlington zone. Watson lost it in her feet. Woolsey got it ahead for Thomas. He's taken into the far boards by Song. And it's Watson on it again. Back to the line. Johnston's shot is blocked by Holmes. Trying to hit Murdoch now with a breakout pass. Peters going to the net. Peters on oh, another big save made by Parkinson. Late in this game, robbing Avery Peters of her first of the tournament. Wow, what a stop from Abigail Parkinson as Peters just tried to get that shot away quickly, had to gather the puck up and take just a little bit too long. And that's all the time that Parkinson needed to sprawl across and get the glove up to make one of the best saves of the tournament. And Peters staying out there for the final few seconds, maybe try to give her another opportunity as that clearing attempt goes off Murdoch's song, trying to keep it alive. Flipped straight up and out of play, and oh, off the coach's noggin. And that's never what you want to see. Coach looks all right, but took a bounce off the wall and got the coach in the head. We're probably fortunate that it took the bounce off the wall. It takes a little bit of velocity off the puck on that little chip, and he looks to be all right. Always keep your eye on the puck, right? Peters with another quick shot that doesn't get through. Another one, sharp angle by Murdoch, and that wraps it up. 
a nice 6-2 victory for the Burlington Barracudas. And those are going to be some important goals going through to determine who will move on to the quarterfinals or straight to the semis, especially with this big game coming up tonight against the Central York Panthers. Well, speaking of the Central York Panthers, they remain tied at two with the East Ottawa Stars. And I'm not sure how long is left in that game, but that's one to watch for sure. And Whitby up 2 nothing now over Blue Water, which means I believe that out of the teams that were first place in their divisions coming into this morning, the Barracudas will have the best goal differential as we head into the rest of the tournament. Certainly should be. And, of course, the Durham West Lightning tied London today as well. So of the teams that we figure will finish first, it looks like Durham may end up potentially after winning the championship this past weekend they may end up in the quarterfinal tomorrow morning but for all of us here i will not be returning tonight but of course it is must watch hockey this evening as your burlington barracudas will take on the central york panthers Jaden's gonna handle the call for that one i have to head to a oshawa generals game as they play game one in round two against uh, the uh ottawa 67s but for the crew here Jaden, we'll see you back here tomorrow night, or tonight, excuse me, <laughs> at uh, 7.30 as your Burlington Barracudas take on the Central York Panthers and a 6-2 win this afternoon over the Kingston Ice Wolves. We'll thank our sponsors one more time. BDO Canada, Skids Away, Pallet Sales and Recycling Solutions, Canadian Cutting and Coring, and J-Man Farms. Once again, tonight at 7.30, Jaden on the call against the Central York Panthers.